Preparing to launch America, a cargo spacecraft arrives at the space station and the detective capabilities of our next Mars rover. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. And we're back live in the room now with Bob Bankin on the left of your screen, Doug Hurley to the right. On May 27th, NASA astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley got suited up for the much anticipated SpaceX Demo 2 test flight to the International Space Station at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida. They've each made this journey twice before for the space shuttle missions, but they've never done this in a SpaceX spacesuit. They've never done this together, and they've never done this on their way to head to a commercially built rocket and spacecraft to head to space. In addition to launching America into a new era of space exploration, the mission is the first to launch American astronauts on an American spacecraft from the U.S. since the end of the space shuttle program. Demo 2 is also the final test flight to validate SpaceX's crew transportation system and operational capabilities as part of our commercial crew program. All systems on this day were go, except the one none of us can do anything about, the weather. In Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, we are not going to launch today. You are go for 5.100 launch scrub. 5.100, it was a good effort by the teams, and we understand, and we'll uh, meet you there. So with the crew's safety of paramount importance, the decision was made to reset and look to the next launch opportunity that weather permits. Uh, today was a good day for NASA. It was a good day for, for SpaceX. Um, and we, we've got a lot to look forward to. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's unpiloted HTV-9 supply spacecraft arrived at the International Space Station on May 25th. The spacecraft delivered more than four tons of science experiments, technology, and other cargo for the crew aboard the orbital outpost. With no shortage of mysteries on Mars, our Perseverance rover will be able to get its sleuth on by using an onboard instrument called Sherlock in tandem with a camera called, what else, Watson, to study rock surfaces for the presence of certain minerals and organic molecules, which are the carbon-based building blocks of life on Earth. The launch window for the mission is from July 17th through August 11th. Perseverance is scheduled to land on Mars February 18th, 2021. Data from our Mars Orbiting MAVEN mission have led to the creation of the first map of the electric current systems in the Martian atmosphere. Researchers hope to better understand these electric currents and their role in the atmospheric loss that transformed Mars from a world that could have supported life in the past into one that is now more like an inhospitable desert. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.